Hi, welcome to my tutorial on finding the nth term of a number sequence. This is part one out of two of these. So this is the more simpler questions. This is on the foundation and the higher paper. Example one. OK, we've got to find, the question would say, find the nth term for this sequence of numbers. Now, what we've got to understand here is the nth term is looking at what's known as a position to term rule rather than a term to term rule. A term to term rule would be looking at your sequence and saying, well, what's this going up in? It's going up in twos. So we're adding two each time. So the term to term rule would be add two. The position to term rule asks, is asking you to relate the position number to this term in the sequence. So this term is the first term, this one is the second term, this one is the third term, and so on. We've got to come up with a formula that links this number here to this number here. Now there's an easy way of doing that. All we need to do if we're trying to work out the nth term is we write down nth term equals and we work out what the difference is. So if we have a look at this, this is going up by two each time. Whatever it's going up in, we write that as multiplying it by n. So we write two n. If that was going up by three, it would be three n and so on. And then all we need to do is we need to then go back to what the term would have been at the zero term. If we're adding 2 going that way, we must be taking away 2 going that way. So the first term was 3. If you take 2 away from that, you're going to get to 1. Whatever the 0 term is, we add to our formula. So our nth term is 2n plus 1. We can check this very easily by just seeing if it works in our sequence. So let's take the third term, for example n stands for the term number. So when we're on the third term, we would do 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Add the 1, gives me 7. It works. Try it on another one. What about the second term? n now is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 gives us 5. And the fourth term, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 gives you 9. Now from this, you could work out any term. If I wanted to work out, say, the 50th term, the 50th term would be way down here. So all I'm going to do now is put 50 in place of n, and I'm going to have 2 times 50 plus 1 gives me 101. That would be our 50th term. Second example. This time, we're going down in size. The numbers are getting smaller. It's almost the same procedure. However, there's just one slight difference at the start. We start off, we write down nth term. But this time, because we're going down in numbers, it's not going to be a positive value here. It's going to be a negative value. This here is getting 3 smaller. You're taking away 3 each time. So our nth term becomes negative 3n. Remember, we write this number next to n. Then we've got to see what this would be at the first, at the zero term. So I haven't labelled these, but if I label them now, our first term was 12. If we now go backwards to our zero term, we're now going to be going this way. You're going to be adding 3 each time. So if you add 3 to 12, your zero term is going to be 15. It's a positive 15, so you write plus 15 there. Now let's check it again, put it into our sequence. So here we are, we've got, let's say the second term, when n is 2, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, minus 6 plus 15 takes us to 9. Put it in the fourth term, minus 3 times 4 gives us minus 12, minus 12 plus 15 gives us 3, it works. Again, we could do this and work out, say, the 20th term. To find the 20th term, we just put 20 in place of n. Minus 3 times 20 is minus 60. 
minus 60, add 15, takes us back up the number line to minus 45.